What is happening? And welcome to another Four Wheel Drive Talk episode. And friends, you know, as hard as it is to believe, it's almost time to be heading out to Overland West, which, you know, sounds cliche, but it seems like I was just out there. But I'm always excited to head to expos like Overland West. But this year, I am more excited, more, more, more excited than usual because I have some incredible gear, not only... Do I have incredible gear that I'm going to be testing out while I'm out there? But also, my co-pilot, my best buddy, my son, gets to head out there for the first time. So he's been really excited about, about knowing that he's heading out there for the last handful of weeks. So that's a big deal. But getting back on topic here, I don't want to let the cat out of the bag just yet. But in a few moments, I'm going to introduce you to an overlanding power supply that I think could drastically change the way that I camp. But before I go give you the details on that, I do want to take a quick time out and give you guys some props for being so supportive of my videos. And of course, the channel, all the likes, the shares, the comments are awesome, badass, appreciated. They are the fuel for my fire to keep me doing all the hard work that's necessary to make videos like this. So if you watch this video and find it helpful, keep the love coming and like it. If you aren't subscribed to the channel, hey, consider doing that as well. It's a nice gift to give me. In exchange, I'd like to give you the gift of song. That felt good. Friend, this is a Dear Diary moment. You see, I've never sang in public before, so I hope you enjoyed it. But enough of the singing here. It's that time, friend. Pull up a seat in. Let's go. All right, friends, so let's break down what this video is and what it's not going to be. While we're going to do an unboxing, this is not going to be a one of those long, drawn-out overboxing. We're going to crack open these boxes. I have five boxes here. We're going to crack them over. We're going to quickly see what's inside them, and what's inside them is the Energy Flex 1500 Portable Battery Station. Now, full disclosure, they sent me this to play around with here. I did not pay for this, so just to be very clear on that. But as many of you know, I've tested out a number of portable battery uh, stations over the years. And personally, as a professional photographer, you know, that has not only when I go camping out, I have high demands and a bit of a snob when it comes to portable batteries because I need to be able to charge up my, my cameras, my drone batteries, my computers when I'm out. Uh, and then on top of that, you know, many of you know when I go heading out, I have my Starlink that is constantly drawing power from whatever, uh, whatever portable battery station that I'm using there. So anyways, we're going to crack these things open and just kind of a get, give it a heads up here. We're going to go through some of the specs in this video and I'm going to share with you some of the first impressions because that's essentially what this video is here. This is going to be a first impression video. Then I'm going to go out and beat the hell out of this, this system here for a handful of weeks. I'm probably going to circle back around with a giving you guys an update on that. I'll probably wait till like 30 days, you know, maybe 30 day review on that. And then we'll circle back around a little bit later on more of a long term review of how the system's holding up and so forth. But the premise behind this video here is I'm going to share with you things that I like, but I don't like. You may agree, you may not. But ultimately, at the end of the day, if you go out there and spend your hard earned money on one of these platforms right here, you're going to have a good idea of what your dollar is going to get. That said, um, I'm just gonna grab a box here and let's let's crack this open here and hopefully. So there's as I understand with the system here, you have the main brain, which is the the inverter, and hopefully I grab the right box here rather than a battery. Okay, so off the get-go we have we have a power adapter. We have the power station here, which... Okay, yep. Big foamy thing. Okay, this looks like the top because it has a handle on it. Okay, nothing else in there. Okay. This is actually... Pretty cool little, oh, I love the smell of like new electronics. It's funny, I was talking to my son the other day. The school just cut the grass. I like the smell of grass and I like the smell of new electronics. This thing smells pretty tasty. 
Many are saying, you are weird. <laughs> I am weird. Okay, I'm going to guess this is a battery, just by the weight of it here. But, in the comments down below, how many of you are going to Overland West? This is going to be a lot of fun. Though, I've been saying for years, this is hands down out of... I've been building online brands for 26 years. I've gone to a lot of expos, a lot of trade shows. Hands down, Overland West is my favorite. Absolutely look forward to the show every year. Okay, as I suspected, a battery. Okay, let's plop that thing right there. Nothing else. Okay, let's... I'm too lazy to find where you open this thing because we don't have the time for open box etiquette. We're just gonna tear the stuff open and get things moving along. So, very cool. Battery, so we have two batteries I believe that they sent here. And I'm going to guess this is the other one right here. So each of these batteries are a thousand watts. That head unit right there is a 1500 watt uh, inverter. And we're gonna take a deep dive into that thing here momentarily. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. All right. Yep, battery. Okay, pop you right there. Pop you over there. Okay, let's make some room. Okay, one, two. Okay, there's that. All right. Then I am going to go off the limb. This one. Let's move you over here. I don't think this through. I was like, yeah, I'll do it in my studio versus out my garage. Because my garage has horrible acoustics. And I figured, okay, we'll do the first half of this video here, but I didn't think about the lack of space. But we'll manage. Okay. Yep, solar panels. All right. So. All right, I'm gonna bring this down here. We'll just crack this open. Okay. Zip. Okay. Alrighty. So, this, no, yeah, anyways, this is a solar panel. We'll crack this open here in a moment. All right, so there's two of these. I don't see the need of having to bring out both of these up here. And the last box, oh, Jesus, there is a ton of boxes on the floor. Okay. Fan, all right. We have our solar cable. And I have no idea what the hell are in these little boxes, but we're gonna crack these things open. Okay, this is a baby, this is a, a little light. Got it. Pretty cool. Okay, so this is how the hell you plug this? Okay. It's a little camp black. All right, right on, cool. All righty. All right, now that we got this all unpacked here, so when you head out on an overlanding trip, there are certain things that you need to have to bring with you. Food, 
water, toilet paper, you know, the essentials. Also on that list is a source of power. And I mean, that's the world that we live in. Even when we go off grid, we need power to charge our devices, uh, run lights, trailers, power pumps, or water pumps, and so forth. Now, as you guys know, I have a pretty beefy power system in my turtle bike expedition trailer, but I'm always on the lookout for new alternative means of power that allows me to stay off grid longer, enjoy creature comforts. And that's where the energy portable power system comes in into play. Now I just got the stuff in the mail literally today, so I'm excited to show you the various pieces and parts. We'll do a quick inventory check, which kind of half ass what we just did right now. And then we're gonna give you a quick rundown of some of the specs and features of the system and the major components of this here, which again, I think we kind of half ass did that here. But anyways, let's dive on to some of the specs. Okay, kicking things off, you have the Flex 1500 power station. So this is the guts or the brains of the system. And as you can see, this has a ton of ports on it. Now also here we have two of the Flex 15, or I'm sorry, we have two Flex batteries here. Now each of these offer a thousand watts, one right here, one right here. So that's 2000 watts of power right there. Next are, we have the two Ascent 100 watt solar panels and both of these fold in half to improve portability. And then of course, as I pointed out here, we have a 30 foot solar panel cable that allows up to 20 amps of current to go through this thing. And then of course, we have a few of these little base camp USB lights and each of these put out 400 lumens. And last but not least, we have a 12 volt, uh, it looks like a clip style oscillating fan, which comes in handy it will come in handy next week at Overland West. All right, now that we have a lay of the land on what the hell came in these boxes here, let's dive into some of the things and get a better idea of some of the specs and features. All right, a moment ago I mentioned the 1500 power station is the brains of the operation. And as you can see, this bad boy is covered with all sorts of ports, just about any electrical component imaginable. So along the bottom, you have six 110 to 120 volt uh, AC outlets. Up in the left here, there are two 60 watt USB-C ports. Right to the right of that, we have two USB-A ports. And right to the right of that, we have two 55, I'm sorry, 55, 5.5 millimeter by 2.5 millimeter DC outputs. And over on the right hand side here, there's even a couple of 15 amp uh, cigarette lighter ports with 13.8 volt regulated DC output. But a ton of ports on the sink is just really part of the story about the sink. Now, other, some of the other features include, you have a console LCD display, so you can quickly and easily check the system vitals. Uh, you have separate power buttons for both right over here, uh, AC and DC. And actually, I like how these feel. There's kind of like a spongy, springy feel to it. As you can see, we just powered on the system right here as well. Uh, you have a separate power button for DC and AC, which I just mentioned. You have a flex battery LCD display so that you can easily evaluate the battery's current levels. There's a ton of cooling vents around the sink to prevent it from overheating. Now there's a nice big handle for moving the power station around. Now this thing only weighs 29 pounds. You know, you're, lock, you're looking at something that's 14 inches by eight by 8.9. Now there's a 1500 watt Pearson wave inverter with 3000 watt surge. Now the power station has a MPPT uh, charge controller and this works with either series or parallel wire configuration with up to 90 volt DC maximum with no amperage input maximum. Now you can charge the power station's battery with multiple sources simultaneously. So for example, you can pull power from the solar panels, your car and shore power outlet to cut charging time down to about 1.5 hours with the optional flex MPPT. PT supercharger. But you know what? One of the things that excites me about the system is, so when you go heading out, I like the modularity of this here because sometimes I, when I'm heading out for a quick uh, weekend or a quick overnight, I might not need all the battery power that uh, sometimes on a longer trip I would have. And vice versa, if I'm heading out on a longer trip, you know, it's pretty slick that you can, I mean, I mean, who the hell's got 96 of these things, you know, kind of daisy chained together. But the fact that you can actually connect 90, if you really were that gung-ho, you could connect 96 of these things. That's a lot of power. Anyways, that blows my mind. Now, as I mentioned earlier, the battery offers a thousand watts of power and can run in series or in parallel. Now, the battery also has automatic balancing. So no matter which uh, energy accessory that you use with it, it's gonna auto balance with the connected power accessories to ensure the safe and effective operation. Now you can charge the batteries in a variety of different ways as well. You can use direct charging from a wall outlet. You can use a car charger. You have solar charging and you can use a mix and match 
simultaneously to cut down the charging times. Now the normal charging time is 3.5 hours. And as you add more batteries to the charging times, this is obviously is going to increase, but the MPPT controller in the Flex 1500 charges each battery at the same time and does so evenly. Now you can add the Flex MPPT supercharger that I mentioned earlier to triple the solar charging and put to 90 amps to significantly cut down the time needed to charge. Now, best of all, this system is plug and play. So when you add Flex batteries to the stack, what's gonna happen is they automatically connect to one another. So as long as their voltages are actually in range of one another. Now, moreover, as you use the system, the batteries will automatically turn on and equalize, which is pretty stinking cool. Actually, let's pop out that little bit right there. Let's grab a battery and see. So you have these little ports on here and so this is the first time doing this, guys, and so let's see how intuitive this is. So I'm guessing this is exactly what I'm doing here. Okay, lock, unlock. Oh, that's pretty easy. Look at that. Okay, so you have these locks on the side here. Lock, unlock. There's a lock, unlock over there. Boom. All right, the last and final or major component of the system are two Ascent 100 watt solar panels. I'm just gonna bring one of these up here because I don't see the need of bringing both of them up here. Now at 22 pounds in, just about 25 and a half inches by nearly 20 inches by 2.36 inches, when this thing is folded in half, these panels are extremely portable. Now, as you saw me take it out of the box earlier, you even get a ascent panel carrying case to make these even more portable. Now setup is really easy with these things as well. It has built in aluminum legs that open up as a kickstand so you can collect the sun rays no matter where you're at. Now with all the basic specs and features out of the way, it's safe to say that there is a lot to like here. Now on top of that, Energy has a tactical lineup of products that are tested by the stinking military and are built like a tank that offer even more durability for tough overland and off-road adventures. So if the regular uh, isn't your cup of tea, well, the tactical components, uh, who knows, might be. At any rate, enough of uh, specs and features. It's time to get out and really test these things out in a real world scenario. So uh, as I mentioned earlier, I'm gonna be putting it through or starting to put it through its paces at Overland West, which is coming up in about a week. And then I'm going to continue testing it after that. So you're gonna wanna stay tuned. I'm gonna say roughly about 30 days uh, from now, I'm gonna have a follow-up video that, to this. Now this, was, this video was meant to be kind of a first impression from what I see. I absolutely love what I see. I love the modularity of these things. Pretty stinking cool. Now the vet next video is kind of the 30 day review of the units, giving you kind of a follow up to this one, letting you know what I like, what I dislike. Again, giving you guys a, a good bird's eye view of these or a close up view rather. And then what we'll probably do is we'll circle back around six months after that. And then we'll let you know as far as, hey, how they held up and what I recommend, pros, cons at that time. Uh, so this is gonna be pretty exciting. That said, uh, hey, cool, guys, really appreciate it. Great seeing you guys here again today. Usually at this point in the video, I start jibber-jabbering about our current giveaway, whatever one that we have going on, but that has ended. Uh, so you're gonna wanna stay tuned for the next four-wheel drive talk. We're gonna break down not only the winners of the last giveaway, but we'll also break down some of the new giveaways that we're moving forward for the next 30 days. But uh, yeah, hey, uh, thanks for tuning in. As always, it's really great seeing you guys. And that's time of the video where I'm gonna ask you to do all the YouTube stuff because we really appreciate it. And hey, let's be real here. It helps out the channel quite a bit. So please consider hitting the like, subscribe, and hit all notifications. So therefore, every time that we come out with a video, just like the one that you just watched, YouTube is gonna give you a heads up that that video is prime and ready for you to watch. But friends, I'm gonna be shutting off these cameras so you get out there, stay healthy, and find your adventure.